Recently, I talked with ex-Muslim Muhammad Faraday about the differences between Islam and Christianity. What he said about the Islamic doctrine of hell may shock you. So you've been a Christian for a decade or so. And you had, a, of course, a couple of decades in Islam, so you know both religions pretty well. What would you say are the key differences between Islam and Christianity are? The key differences is hell and heaven. One ends you in hell, one ends you in heaven. Islam will definitely guarantee the Quran promises every Muslim. The word actually uses the word varadu, meaning entering. Every Muslim will enter in hell. And from within hell, Allah will pick out some Muslim for paradise. So that's the guarantee of the Quran. I'm not teaching it. It is in the Quran. Go read it for yourself. Indeed it does. Surah 19, 71 through 72 reads, Not one of you there is, but he shall go down to it. That for thy Lord is a thing decreed determined. Then we shall deliver those that were God-fearing, and the evildoers we shall leave there, hobbling on their knees. The wording of this verse is a bit strange, but the meaning seems clear enough. If Allah is going to leave the evildoers in hell, that obviously means he's removing the believers from the same place. Muslims try to deny the clear meaning of this text, but when we look at the extended context, it becomes even more obvious. Starting at verse 67, we read, Will not man remember that we created him aforetime, when he was nothing? Now, by thy Lord, we shall surely muster them and the Satans, and we shall parade them about Gehana, hobbling on their knees. The them here clearly refers to humanity, so all of humanity is going to be taken to Gehana, which is just a different word for hell. Then we shall pluck forth from every party whichever of them was the most hardened in disdain of the all-merciful. Then we shall know very well those most deserving to burn there. There, obviously being in hell. The same there that is referred to again in verse 71 and verse 72. Furthermore, Surah 3, 185 reinforces this idea. Every soul shall taste of death. You shall surely be paid in full your wages on the day of resurrection. Whosoever is removed from the fire and admitted to paradise shall win the triumph. The present life is but the joy of delusion. Obviously, if some people are being removed from the fire and put into paradise, they were first in the fire. That is hell. So it seems clear that in Islam, everyone goes to hell. Guarantee of Islam for Muslims, for its followers, for the people that they submitted is hell. But Jesus said himself in red letters in the Bible, said in the book of John chapter 5 verse 24, If you believe in me and who has sent me, you will not come to judgment. You have passed from death to life. You have entered eternal life in this life. And that's the difference and that's the guarantee of the Bible and, and the word of Jesus. My wife heard my uh, cry in the <laughs> spirit and brought me water. Excellent. That's why I got distracted. Sorry about that. I'm like, how, how does she know? <laughs> awesome. Let, let me uh, let me let me quote that verse uh, correctly because uh, I got distracted. Jesus said, "I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in him who has sent me has everlasting life. Shall not come into judgment, has already passed from death into life." That is the difference. One takes you into hell, guarantees you hell, and one t one takes you in, into paradise and, and 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 everlasting life. Yeah. And one of the hadith I'm familiar with, one of Muhammad's companions, I think it's Abu Bakr, says that even if he had one foot in paradise, he would still fear that all his decree will kick in and he'll start doing evil deeds and be thrown into hell. So there's definitely no security yeah. in Islam. What a wonderful God Islam has. <laughs> yeah. It's just like those uh, Muslim interviewers in, in the uh, United Nations. They're just finding an excuse to punish you and torture you for it. If you would like to see more of my interview with Muhammad, click here.
Thanks for watching.